Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to deploy your Vue.js apps to Heroku. So the first thing we need is a project to deploy. Uh, so let's go ahead and create one. We're going to do that uh, with Vue CLI, which basically creates a boilerplate for us to use. Um, so if you don't have that, you can go ahead and do npm install uh, g at vue slash CLI. Hit enter and install that. But once that's done, I already have it installed. All you have to do is view create and the name of the project. We'll just do hello world. Um, go through a couple prompts here. By default, it installs Babel and ES, e, ESLint alongside of that. I need to get rid of this. And hit enter and it'll start installing the dependencies. Now from here, you can either change directory to hello world, but really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my directory and open Visual Studio Code with hello world as its root. So once that's done, we can go ahead and test it by doing npm run serve, and this will start up a server and host our public and source files here. Um, and it hosted on port 8080, so we can test that by going uh, to local, localhost 8080 and make sure it is running and it is running as expected. Now that we have it running, we can go ahead and build our application by doing npm uh, run build. And basically this will minimize all our JS files, all our dependencies and our view application and put it into a distribution folder that we can then upload to Heroku so it can be served. So Heroku can't really serve our application using the Vue CLI server. Uh, it really needs uh, something like a node server uh, to serve our app. So let's go ahead and create one of those really quick. Um, let's go ahead and npm install express and serve static uh, and go ahead and save those to our uh, package.json file. So once that's already installed, we can go ahead and create a new um, excuse me, server.js file. And I'm gonna just paste some code in here. Basically, uh, it brings an express and ecstatic server. Um, it creates our express app. And it says anytime you navigate to the root directory uh, of your web server, uh, go ahead and serve them the distribution folder. And the distribution folder in our case will be this index.html file. Um, we're gonna host it on the environment port or 8080. And then we're gonna go ahead and listen for connections. So that's what Heroku is gonna do on the back end. So there's two more things we have to do with our project before we get to Heroku. Pretty quick and simple. We basically need to tell Heroku how to start our application um, or start our server. So we are going to, inside our package.json scripts file, um, we're gonna do a start script and then we're gonna do node server.js. So uh, Heroku on the back end, when you deploy your application, will go ahead and run node space server.js to launch our application. Next, we need to go to our git ignore uh, file here and remove the distribution folder from the ignore because when we use git to upload our project to Heroku, uh, we want it to upload our distribution file or folder because that is basically our project. Okay, so now to the good stuff. Basically, you're gonna need a Heroku account. Um, so you can go to heroku.com uh, sign up. It's free to sign up. You can create an app. Once you sign up, you'll come to an app, uh, a website like this. You can click on the new application, create new app, and you'll end up on something similar to this. Um, basically, the server is free for development use, you know, small usage and stuff like that. So once you're here, uh, we can go ahead and continue. So let's go ahead and start the deployment process. You can click deploy right here. Uh, scroll down. If you don't have the Heroku CLI application already installed on your computer, you're going to need that. Uh, so go ahead and click on this link here. It'll take you to a web page similar to this. You can install from Mac, Windows, or Linux. Install the version you need. Once that's installed, you're going to need to restart Visual Studio Code or whatever uh, basically text editor you're using to have access to the Heroku uh, CLI prompts. So go ahead and do that now. So once you have that all set up installed and you've restarted Visual Studio Code, we can go ahead and continue with Heroku login. You can see I've already done that here uh, with my email and password and it successfully logged me in. Then we can go ahead and do a git init. And git init. For me, I've already initialized it. 
then go ahead and copy this line of code right here to set up our git structure. Um, for me, for you, it'll be different because your project name will be different. Um, and then next, we'll do a git add all. All of our files have already been added for me. Sorry. Um, and then a git commit am initial commit. And then we'll do a git push Heroku master. And if all works out correctly, it'll start uploading your project to Heroku. So once that's done uploading, we can go back to overview. We can see that our project was deployed just now and the build of our project succeeded. Um, and then we can click open app. And there you go. We've deployed our application to Heroku. Two thumbs up, boys. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something. If you did, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and catch my future videos. Um, if you want to uh, join me in my Discord server, I've put a link below in the description. Uh, so it's just a brand new starting community uh, where we can talk about uh, tech, programming, or just hang out. So if you're interested, check out the link below. Catch you guys next time. Peace.